Welcome to your school, Swindon. I'm here with Steve Bennett, head coach of Swindon Storm. First day of the season. You're obviously on the wrong end of the result today, but it was a good effort with a, you know, a team with lots of new players in there as well. That's right, yeah, a lot of new faces today. Um, and we had really good rotation on the defence for all the new faces. Um, we've had some good work with uh, South Gloucester and Stroud College coach has been coming over and working with us on, uh, on defensive backs. So it's been some really good work on, on for those guys. And to be fair, we, we put uh, all our rookies out on punting today. And at some point, the punt unit was the best unit on our, 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 side, our side of the ball. Um, some really good individual plays by um, a, couple of, a couple of the rookies. Um, put, put about 90 yards of uh, field down. Um, to put their offence on, on their own 10 yard one point, at one point, so that was really good. Um, X and O's wise, I thought we we had everything, we knew exactly what corn we were going to come out with, but um, sometimes it comes down to the Jimmys and Joes as opposed to the X's and O's, yeah. and they just pounded us down the middle. Mm -hmm. Really good old school uh, thumping lead plays, as they're called, up, um, up between the tackles, and we couldn't stop their, uh, their experienced backs from moving down the field, so maybe not the best. For the spectators, the, the strong winds really held off a lot of the passing game for both teams. So it was basically pound the rock down the middle. So obviously game, yeah. Yeah, I was going to talk about the conditions. I mean, as a spectator, it was really windy, and I can't imagine what must have been like for you guys. Uh, on more than one occasion, the uh, the offensive line couldn't hear the QB call and the cadence. So we got a full a couple of false starts from that, yeah. which is frustrating, especially when you start moving the ball well and suddenly you're going back five, ten yards again. Um, yeah. Just, Really windy conditions. I mean, didn't plan that at all. We did not expect that the, the wind today at all. We thought it was really nice today. So, yeah. And you had to step into the side today. To I about did. <laughs> yeah. Our middle linebacker. We knew. We knew the game plan. We knew they were going to come out and pound the rock. Uh, and you need a real thug of a middle linebacker to step up and plug those gaps up the middle. Um, and uh, our, our usual middle linebacker is a county level rugby player. He's away for the last week or so. He's actually back. After in, for the next game, yeah. so I looked across the depth chart and thought, there's no one really that can really stick it to him. I thought, well, let's go for it, stick the kit back on again. Normally, it's a one, once a season thing. Uh, I did it last year against Fine. Uh, had a good, good game now as well, so yeah, get on and go for it. But back on the bench for the next game. <laughs> I'm back on the sideline with a clipboard in my hands and a cup of coffee for the rest yeah. of the season. Did you enjoy it though? I love it, I absolutely love it. I yeah, really enjoy it. And they put me on a fullback as well. We went for a, a 90 yard. Hurry up drive in, in the fourth court, which I really enjoyed full back in for. Didn't touch the ball once, just, just lead block, just get the guy behind me and just follow me down the field. Really enjoyed that as well. So it's always good. Um, my assistant coaches, uh, guys that have stepped up, um, Ian Shearer for the offense, uh, Rich Van Stolten for defense, and stand in head coach today was Paul Meller. Those guys did a really good job on the sideline. Um, they're, they're all three bringing experience from different parts of the country that have joined the club in, in this preseason. Great to have them on board, and it's nice to be able to look around and see other guys on the sidelines with good experience in all sides of the football, and watch them actually making decisions, making good decisions without me having to come up with everything. So moving forward with regards to sort of infrastructure, the coaching and staff as well. It's all good. And then go back to the game. I mean, you know, okay, it was a defeat, but presumably there's lots of positives. To yeah, it. I mean, we always say do review applies. So we played the game today. We've filmed it from about five different camera angles. So we'll collate all the video. We've got like an online um, video sharing resource where you can go on and each coach can pause the video, highlight players, draw lines, add vid audio, audio commentary, written commentary. That'll all get done. We'll put together a big video review package for Wednesday night at a new college. So we'll go to book out uh, two or three classrooms and have different teams in, talk about what they did. Uh, talking about what they did wrong, on occasion talking about what they did right. Normally it's what they did wrong, 80 20 <laughs> split I reckon for that. Um, and then we'll put those, um, fix a few things, put them into training on Monday, and then prepare for our next opponent. Are you confident going into the next game that you can improve on that today? We'll, I will always improve. Always, um, we'll always get better. Uh, last season we started uh, with a hefty defeat to Farnham, 50 odd points. Um, so that was, that was a good thumping of a really good team that's now been promoted. Uh, and that shook, shook off all the cobwebs. And, um, and really set the tone for the rest of the season. And he's got stronger and stronger every game. We pick up a few guys that are university players as well. Sort of, sort of, they're coming back from playing a uh, full season in university. Uh, they're always a real help to the team. Yeah. Um, they sort of integrate them over five or six weeks, um, getting them find their feet with the offense and defense. And then normally after two or three games, being with the club, the, the university players are really making them a big um, impact on the field. Yeah. Yeah. A great season last season. Yeah. 
on, on the back of this game now, what, what do you think you can achieve this year? So playoff football is immediately going to be tough. With an eight game season, you can't afford to lose more than one game, to really, because you, the, the stats, the percentages aren't there. So we've put ourselves for postseason football on the back foot already. So we're really going to have to pick up our game going forward if, if that wants to be our goal. As a coaching staff, we need to sit down and we need to review all the new players, where we are this season, and what our, what our goals are really. Having, having um, seen and, and even played through across the league with the Oxford and Torbay game today as well, with Oxford not scoring the points on Torbay that we thought they would. Um, Torbay looking a lot stronger than they were last year. And they've got a really good head coach that's come in. Uh, he's got a couple of bowl, uh, bowl championships behind him with different, various different clubs. So uh, he's going to come in and he's obviously made a really good impact on Torbay. So we'll see how they are for the season. So yeah, I think it's going to be even field. I think uh, all, the, all the games are going to be around these sort of 15, 20, 20 point marks maybe for the first half of the season. And then when we get a feel for each other, we might see some big scores going in. Yeah. I think it's going to be good. Well, best of luck for the rest of the season. Thanks very much. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Cheers.